Hi, I'm Professor Van Norden, and I'm going to show you how to use Ask Banner to find courses. So we're going to start from the main Vassar homepage, www.vassar.edu, go down to Academic, and then click the link for Ask Banner. A uh, lot of useful information here, but we're just going to click on General Information, and then go down to Schedule of Classes. Now, this will default to either the current semester or the upcoming semester if the schedule is known for it. And if you don't click any of the other pull-down menus and just hit Submit, you'll get a complete list of all the courses being offered at Vassar uh, this semester. Uh, it's going to be a huge list, and you'll notice that most of the courses are highlighted in yellow. That means that there is space available in those courses. Some courses are not highlighted. So, for example, Africana Studies 247, Politics of Difference, the maximum number of students who can take that course is 25. The number of students who are currently enrolled in that course is also 25. So the number of available spaces in the course is zero. Some courses that are full also have a wait list. In this case, we can see that five students are on the wait list. Now, Different instructors handle wait lists differently, and some courses that are full don't even have a wait list. So my recommendation to you, if you want to get into a course that's full, is that you contact the instructor of the course, or show up on the first day of class and ask the instructor whether there is space available. Now there's a lot of useful information and many abbreviations here, and I'm going to explain them. But in case you forget anything I tell you, notice that back here on the Schedule of Classes page, there is a link that says Schedule of Classes Information Pages. This is very useful and has explanations of pretty much every abbreviation that occurs on the Schedule of Classes, plus information about field work, about the non-recorded option, and also the classroom building abbreviation codes that are used in the Schedule of Classes. So don't forget about that if you forget anything. Now, I'm in the philosophy department as well as the Department of Chinese and Japanese, so I'm going to go down to the philosophy department here and just see what's offered in philosophy this semester. And the first course, Philosophy 101, that's a course number, and there's two sections of it, notice. Uh, title is History of Western Philosophy 1. There, it's one unit. Most Vassar courses are one unit. You do occasionally have some half-unit courses. SP means special permission. For a special permission course, you have to get the instructor's signature to take the course, even if you sign up for the course during the regular ad period. This is usually the case for courses like field work or independent study. Uh, we explained before, max the maximum number of students who can take the course, how many are currently enrolled, how many spaces are available, how many students are on the wait list, if there is a wait list. GMOD, grade modification. Uh, you only see uh, basically three things here. If there's nothing here, then it's a basic A, B, C, D, F course. If you see an SU, it means it's satisfactory, unsatisfactory, basically pass-fail. If you see NR, it means it's an NRO course. You can take it for NRO if you wish to do so. If you want to know what NRO is, don't forget this page I pointed out to you um, and it explains what the NRO option is. YL, that means is it a year-long course? Do you have to take both semesters of the course to get credit. PR means provisional grading. That means do you get a provisional grade for the first semester of the two-semester course? FR, is it a freshman course? As you can see, this is a freshman course. QA, is it a quantitative course? If it says QA in this column, you can use the course to satisfy the quantitative requirement. X list, cross list, that means that the same course is cross-listed in another department. For example, the Philosophy Department's 250 Feminist Theory is also cross-listed in Women's Studies as Women's Studies 250. You can take it either way. Which way you take it depends on the needs of your schedules. For example, if you're majoring in Women's Studies, you might, might want to take it as Women's Studies 250. If you're majoring in Philosophy, you might want to take it as Philosophy 250. It's the same course and the same content either way. Days of the week the course is offered, pretty self-explanatory. MW means the course is offered Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, the only little confusion is that R stands for Thursdays, so TR means the course meets Tuesdays and Thursdays. 
What time does it meet on Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday and Thursday? What's the location of the course? RH stands for Rockefeller Hall. What room is it in? And then finally, who's the instructor of the course? So very useful for finding out what courses are offered in a department that you're interested in, in taking a course in. Now you can search for a bunch of other things. If it's an instructor you particularly like and you want to see what he or she is offering. Um, also course type, and maybe you need a freshman writing seminar, or maybe you need to satisfy your quantitative requirement, or you want to take a language course. Uh, suppose that your schedule is very full, but you need one more class, and your only opening is Mondays at 9 a.m. Well, guess what? You can search for all and only courses that are offered Mondays at 9 a.m. So my recommendation is you put down a bookmark for uh, the schedule of classes on Ask Banner. It's very useful and you're going to be using it a lot over the next four years. I hope this introduction was useful and enjoy.